Welcome back to How to Snakes. Uh, in this episode, we're going to talk about one of the major things in a board game cafe, the cafe side of things, drinking. Now, Steve has asked me to do this episode because, well, his brain is being eaten by getting ready to relaunch his Kickstarter campaign. Look for that in April. Anyway, uh, we're going to be talking today with Aaron Zach, Director of Operations, because he knows all the stuff about all the drinks. Yay! Drinks! Hey, Mr. Zach. Hey, Wayne. Today, let's talk about some drinks. All right, Wayne. Now, there are three important kinds of drinks to have in a board game cafe, right? There's hot drinks, there's cold drinks, and there's booze. What can you tell me about all three? Well, Wayne, hot drinks, coffee, teas, all those kind of things, very important to the cafe side of things. Um, you're gonna have your classics, your lattes, your cappuccinos. You may mm -hmm. even have flat whites. Oh. oh, I know. Those are very trendy these days. Uh, you're gonna have some good equipment to do that. You know, you're gonna invest in a good quality coffee machine, good grinders, and staff training for that. Um, cold drinks, smoothies, things like that, they're kind of seasonal. Uh, you'll do better in the summer, iced coffees, that kind of stuff, also important. But I think you can't overlook booze. Tell me more about booze. I like booze. Well, here at Snakes and Lattes, we focus on craft beer. Uh -huh. uh, we think that having uh, two industries, you know, board games and craft beer, they're growing really rapidly together. They both have a lot of passion. It's really, it's a really great combination. Uh, you're gonna. A lot of it's, people love games. A lot of people love beer. Uh, alongside that, you're gonna have your wines and your cocktails, things like that, and those kind of choices are gonna come out of your own experiences and what you like. That's the best way to do it. Now. Do you ever have to worry about people getting a little carried away with the drinking and the games? Not, not too much. I think, I think uh, you would be the first. Uh, anyway, thanks for taking the time to talk with me. Bye bye, Internet. Fuzzleberry juice? I, I don't know. I don't know what that is, Wayne. It, it's like the most popular drink with puppets ever. Oh, okay. I can't believe you don't have fuzzleberry juice. What sort of petty, petty joint is this? I did see a new drink called, called Puppet Crunk. Is that by you? Is that your company? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Shameless plug. Puppet Crunk. I heard the FDA banned it. the store near you. That is a specious lie. 